This is Mark Bell from Supertraining.tv, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West, and I'm thugging hard with my new hat that represents my Mean Streets of Poughkeepsie attitude, and I'm wearing no shirt because I can. I just got out of the hot tub, and I'm just chilling. Anyway, got uh, some good questions here and got uh, some motivation that somebody picked up. This kid, mega heavy lifter, says uh, he was happy I gave him a shout out, 16-year-old kid. He's from New York. What's up? Poughkeepsie style, you know how it is on the East Coast, um, <clears throat> and uh, he said he's gaining strength just by listening to the Power Project, and he's excited, and uh, he's going to go break his spine because I gave him a shout out. Well, that's what this is all about. This is my calling in life. This is what I like to do. I like to get stronger. I like to help other people get stronger. Mommy went to the store to go get us some food, Quinny. Okay, she'll be back in a minute. But this is what I like to do. This is, uh, I like to pass the word. I like to get people strong. Here's Quinn Bell making an appearance. I like to get people strong. I like to spread the word. I like to help people out. And that's what this whole power project is all about. And without you fans out there and without you people out there, um, we, uh, we have no power project. So I appreciate all you peeps out there uh, sending in your questions. Quinn, don't pull on that, baby. <laughs> That means that she will pull on it. But uh, I really appreciate the questions coming in, coming in. Keep them rolling. And we do have a question to get to right here. Steezy Trey has a question uh, about, um, says he's a beginning power lifter, and he's having a real hard time uh, gaining strength in his squats as effectively as he does in his bench press. Uh, I want my squat closer to my deadlift weight and certainly more than my bench. Um, you know, uh, benching uh, more than your squat is not necessarily a crime. I uh, outbenched my squat and broke the uh, USPF Open 308 uh, record at one point. So <clears throat> that was pretty cool. But anyway, uh, to increase your squat, you probably uh, you, you probably need to take your time with it. You probably need to do Quinn. Do you want me to kill you? <laughs> okay, you gonna listen in? Okay. To increase your squat, you're just going to have to take your time. You have to make sure that your form is good, make sure your form is dialed in, and uh, make sure you're lifting with some precision, and make sure that your intent, you're achieving the intent of the day. If your intent is to go as heavy as possible, then make sure you're achieving that. If your intent is to work on your form, make sure you're achieving that. If your intent is just to do, be fast and work on explosiveness, then make sure you're doing that. So you got to make sure that you're achieving you got to set these small goals, and sometimes they may not always be a goal in, uh, in just lifting as much as you possibly can. Sometimes the goal is like, hey, I'm just going to go in and not suck when I squat. Sometimes that can be the goal. So you're going to have to set some different goals for yourself as to the best way to build up your squat. There are like about 9 million different ways to build up your squat. Uh, the difference between a strong man and a weak man is, is their lower back. So... Uh, if you want to have a strong squat, you're going to have to build up your lower back. And just because you have a big deadlift does not mean that you have a strong back for squatting. Uh, there's a big difference there, and you're going to have to figure it out somewhat on your own. I would suggest uh, trying to um, do some box squats. I would suggest trying to do some low squats. I would suggest trying to um, perform some pause squats. Uh, any type of squat that you can think of that makes the squat actually harder than it already is. So it says here, I think that you squat around 335. Thank you, Quinn. <clears throat> it says that you squat around 335, which that's, that's pretty good. Um, but uh, with a, with a 335-ish squat, you want to find exercises that force you to use 250, 275, uh, 295 maybe even, somewhere in that range for uh, doubles and triples and things like that. Things that are going to make the exercise, you want to make the exercises harder. You want to um, basically uh, practice harder than the competition itself. Uh, that is if you're competing. Um, if you're not competing, then <clears throat> it's a, diff you know, a little bit different concern. But again, you want to have exercises that are hard because you want to try to get a lot out of them. So, for example, if you do a closed stance low box squat with 275 pounds for a triple, you're going to get a lot out of that. You're going to gain a lot of strength. You bring your stance back out and you do your regular squat, whichever way you normally do it, uh, you're, you're guaranteed that you're going to squat more because you're working harder. So 
Those are the types of things you want to look to do. Uh, again, increase strength of lower back. Don't forget to work your abs. And just overall back strength with rows and, and movements like that. And that is it from supertraining.tv. I'm out.